Who brought it? What happens after he brought communion? Abraham did what? Give what? Do you understand? Are you understanding? Tight is not for you to go make grocery. Oh, let me not go there yet. Let me not go there yet. Tight is not for when things get tight. Most people use the tights when things get tight. And you know, you're suffering all these years. People don't understand communion. This is why they're unhealthy. Listen to this church. Verse 19. Verse 19. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth. The first word out of Melchizedek's mouth was, Bless be Abraham. Imagine Abraham gave tithes, and the first thing Melchizedek says was what? Bless be Abraham. Those of you who got your tithes home, you realize what you're losing out right now. Huh? Bless be what? Abraham, the most high God. I didn't stop there, you know. You see, Levitical priesthood, in Levitical priesthood, there is blessing and curses. But this blessing from our great high priest, there is blessing and no cursing. Blessing and no cursing. All generation, all generation curse is under the law. All generation curse is under the law. Outside of the bread and the wine. Let me make sure you understand because I don't want to leave here like those who reject Jesus. All generational blessing and curses are those who still live under the law and bondage of sin. But those who are living under the grace of God and are in a covenant relationship with Jesus Christ through his blood, the bread and the wine, who receives the blood, the bread and the wine, you are living under the blood, those who live outside of the blood are still under the curse. How many of you take communion? You cannot take communion and be cursed. Cannot. If you take communion and you're still cursed, check yourself. That's why we have so many problems in the churches today. Because we do things and we lack understanding. Now watch this church. Melchizedek preschool. Melchizedek priesthood is only blessing, no cursing. Now verse 20. Not after he blessed Abraham, guess what he did? He blessed God. And blessed the most high God, which had delivered thine enemies into thine hand, you are more than a conqueror. And he gave him tithes of all to prove how great he is. Church, Abraham gave a tenth of all that he had. He didn't hold back any. Now my question to you as I wrap this up. How do you view communion in church? How do you view communion in church? You go to some churches and see everybody running wild, wild, picking up and drinking and walking back and all wild, wild. Every Sunday, right? they have to, I mean so often, and they do it without any order, sensitivity, sacredness. They just drink mad, mad and go back home like they were hungry and thirsty. No sensitivity, understanding of the awkwardness, sacredness of the ultimate sacrifice that was made for the entire world to manifest the greatness of God's love. Church, so many people are moving on. Let me ask a question. Is it commonplace to give communion? Is it commonplace to give communion? Yes. Everywhere you go, across the board, in every denomination, Anglican, Presbyterian, uh, Episcopalian, uh, 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 what, what do you call them? Catholic. Come Ash Wednesday, they have enough. We can't find fine, fine wine. Huh? Communion. Every, across the board, in every denomination, it is commonplace to give communion, right? Huh? Across the board. Question two. Is it? Is it commonplace? Is it commonplace to give tithes in the church today? Mm. Mm. 
and I hear some, mm, mm. You know, you know why it is commonplace to give communion in all the churches today? Because God's son is faithful in giving. It's always there and available. It's always there and available. Because God said, my son makes no mistake. He is faithful and responsible. He brings the bread and wine always because he is faithful. This communion is here every single month. And sometimes we go twice a month. But you know why? Because God is what? Faithful. God is what? Faithful. Melchizedek brought the wine and the bread. Because he's faithful. Abraham, in return, remember the priesthood had to be commanded under the law to pay tithes. Abraham paid tithes before the law and nobody commanded him. He gave tithes to prove, to express and demonstrate the greatness of Melchizedek. Abraham was faithful and responsible. Melchizedek, faithful and responsible. It's commonplace in the church today to have tithes, commune everywhere. But it's not commonplace to have tithes everywhere. Because not man, man is not so faithful. Some of us are not so faithful. Now you have to think a little bit and say, ouch, and say, I should have brought my tithe to the church. Okay? I'll show you the reason for that now. Men, say men. Men, where men's, where, where men, where men's, where man's responsibility is involved, there is failure and unfaithfulness. Where God's responsibility is involved, there's faithfulness and commitment. As far as communion, if God is faithful and committed, you'll always find it here. Will you always find the sites in the house of the Lord? No. Proof? I could call Sister Sharon now. Okay. When God bless you already, you learn to respond instead of justifying yourself for not giving. God has blessed me. Abraham was blessed. In so much that he gave his thanks. Abraham received a communion. Bread and wine were brought. And Abraham in return gave thanks. Because Abraham was what? Blessed. Abraham was what? When you're blessed already. In response. You give. You give. And you do not justify yourself. Not, well things were tight. And I had no choice. Put God first. Because you need God to fix the problem. Well, I was short, Pastor, and I had to make up my mortgage. And I had put God first because He's the one who supplies your needs. So do that stuff. Amen. Get that in your mind. You have to understand that with your heart in order to act upon it. Unless you act upon it, you do not understand. You're just like those who rejected Jesus. Just like them. You don't want to be like that. Okay, are we learning something this morning? Let me wrap it up very quickly because this is time, time is going up. So when men is involved, you can always have failure. That's the testimony of the church. The church is always failure on man's part, but there's no failure on the Lord's part. He is faithful in all the church. He's faithful. Now, so it is the Lord bringing the, com the communion to us. Isn't that right? Who brought the communion to us this morning? The Lord. But when it comes to tithing, only a selected few who have eyes to see and ears to hear, and a heart to understand, will bring it, the tithes to the Lord. It's the same today. Some people are dull of hearing. Pastor, you know, when was the last time I preached on giving in this church? You can't even remember. Huh? You can't even remember. Because I'm glad some of you are hearing. You have a hearing ear. And some of you are very faithful with your tithes. But watch this church. The same is true today as it was then. Some people in church are dull of hearing. So why? At communion, they are taking the communion. I'm not being healed, not being healthy. They're giving without understanding. Taking communion without understanding. Without understanding. But watch this. Communion is healthy if it is taken correctly. Communion is healthy if it is received correctly. When the Lord who brings the bread and wine to you, He brings it, right? 
bread and wine. What do you do? You what? You what? You receive it. He brings it, you receive it. When you come with your tithes, you bring your tithes, and guess what? He what? He what? We just read it. He re received tithes from Abraham. He receives the tithe. You receive the communion. He receives the tithes. He gives you the communion. He bless you. He bless you. You give him. You bring your tithes. He receives it. You're not giving it to the church's pocket. Not giving it to the church's bank account. Not giving it to Pastor Mervyn. You're giving it to your Melchizedek. Who receives present active participle. Who receives and is receiving tithes today. Let me prove it to you and I will close. Watch this. So communion is healthy if you receive it correctly. But today, it is practiced incorrectly across the board in different churches. Different denomination. Okay? It is practiced with a respect and sacredness. Tithing, tithing is wealthy if you do it correctly. Communion is healthy if you receive it correctly. Tithing is wealthy if you do it correctly. Wisdom to live life. Wisdom for life and health and wealth God's way. God's way. Not TBN's way. Not the way of the televangelists. Not the way of a preacher. God's way. God's way. When we rightfully divide the word and understand it, God's way. When you give your tithes, you're giving your tithes to your Melchizedek. What the church and the preacher does with it, they will stand before God. You giving it to Melchizedek. Are you listening to me? Give the Lord a hand of praise right now. Let me bring this to a close. You ready to go? Ready to go? Can I get two minutes of your time? Can I get two minutes of your time? All those who give me two minutes say amen. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eight. Okay, good. Praise the Lord. All right, let me close with this. Hebrews 7 and verse 8. I'm going to wrap it up. Now, watch this now. Watch this. People have a problem tightening today, you know. And they say, it's tight for today. It's, that was a long time. That was under the law. Tight was, not, uh, tight was before the law. Communion was not just when Jesus died. It was before as a type. Everything was there before. Watch this church. Verse 8. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 8. Are you there? And here. Here men that die receive tithes. But there he receiveth them. Of whom it is witness that he, that he, that he, that he, he liveth. Now let me, let me, let me clear this up church. Here, what's here? What's here? And what's there? What's the difference? Here, mortal men who are in the Leviticus, Levitical priesthood, they received tithes and they all died. They received tithes and they what? All died. Here, men received tithes and they died. The Levitical priesthood, right? Okay? But there, say there, he receives. He receives it and he will receive it. He is alive. He is alive. Now, there has been a change of priesthood. No more Levitical priest, priesthood. Now is the priesthood of Melchizedek through our Melchizedek, our prince, our Jesus Christ. He is our priest. Amen. Now, so there's a change of the priesthood, but not a change of tithing. Here, men receive it. Tight. They all died. But there, he receive it. Receive it. Present, active, participle. He still receives. That's what it means. He still receives it, them, of whom it is witness. He receives it because he lives. You're not giving tight to dead men. You're giving tight to somebody who is alive. He is 
is alive. Now, tithing exists before the law was given. We just read because Abraham was commanded under the law. Now, no one commanded Abraham to give tithes. It was a revelation of the greatness of Melchizedek. He had a revelation when Melchizedek brought the bread and wine. You know what the Bible said? Abraham saw way ahead Calvary. Before he sacrificed, he saw way ahead in Calvary. He saw Jesus sacrificing and he saw the type there. He received it and he embraced it. And he gave to prove the greatness of God, to demonstrate the greatness of our God. He gave. And this is what, this is what, I, this is, what is appealing. Here men who received died. But there he lives. There, referring to Jesus, our Melchizedek, is at the right hand of the Father in heaven. For thou art the priest forever. After the order of Melchizedek, he's at the a priest. He's at the right hand of the Father. For how long? Forever. Forever. Hallelujah. Now watch this church. He receives. He is right now. And presently, actively receiving tithes because he lives. Tithe is not to make you rich. But to declare how great, how great, how great thou art. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel like a tithe. Even though I had nothing, I still want a tithe. How great you are. How great you are. How great you are. But it will, it will bless you, wealthy. It will bless you. It will make you rich. But you focus not on the richness. You focus on the greatness. Oh, give the Lord a hand of praise right now. If I were you sitting there and I didn't feel like paying tithes, but I want to bring my tithes in the house of the Lord. Now watch this. Can I close with this? <laughs> That door heavy. I try to push it to close it. <laughs> Communion shows and demonstrates. Brother, put the book down. Come quickly. Pick up one of those tray quickly. Pick up one of the tray. Don't throw it on. <sighs> Come, brother. You stand up there. Communion. Shows and demonstrate his debt. Turn around, face each other. I want you, when you give it, I want you to receive it. And then I want, I want you to say to him, remember me. Give it to him and say, remember me. And they want to hear you, man. Amen. Communion demonstrates and shows that Jesus died. And he wants you to remember he died. Stay right there. How many have a ties in your envelope? Come, buddy, come with the ties quickly. Come. And I want you now. Come, brother, come. Don't take that and guy now. No. Come. Give it to him. Give it to him. Wait, don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Shut up and stand straight. <laughs> Watch this. Tight, say tight. Tight shows and demonstrates his resurrection. Give him that. Now you say he lives. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this now. Take it back again. Watch this. When, he, when you hand him it, just how he said, remember me, you hand him that and said, say it loud. I live. Watch this now. How many get in the picture here now? Communion demonstrates and shows that he died. And he said, remember me. Tithing. When, when you give tithing, when you give tithing, okay? When you give tithing, you are declaring he's great. And now you see, he lives. Tithing demonstrates his resurrection. He lives. So right here, we are demonstrating Jesus' death and resurrection. He's, he, he's saying, as much as you, you receive communion, and as much as you give tithes, and I am alive, do not forget that I died for your sins. Huh? 
You need to be saved, boy. <laughs> Just kidding. Church, did you get that today? Commu say that for me. Communion shows and demonstrates his death. He says, remember me. Tithing shows and demonstrates his resurrection because he lives. Even though I am alive, remember I died. So verse 8 says, of whom it is witness that he liveth. Of whom it is witness that he liveth. Hallelujah. Now, 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 now. You can place it back there. Place it back there. Give, him back, give it back to him. Not take it again. Good. Wonderful. Good. God bless you. Have your seats. Watch this. Give them a good hand. <laughs> of whom it is witness that he lived. Of whom it is witness that he lived. Communion is a witness of the... Of the fact that he died. Tithing is a witness that he lives. Wisdom for life and health, God's way. Wisdom for life and wealth, God's way. Do you know there's healing in communion? Do you know that? Yeah. Now, now can, I, can I use that? There's two more verses that close. Watch this. Look at verse 9 and 10. We close at verse 10. I promise you with all my heart. Verse 9. Watch what it says. As and as... And as I may say so, Levi also, who received tithes, paid tithes in Abraham. The Levi were the priesthood, okay? They received tithes. They paid tithes in Abraham. Next verse. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. They didn't born yet. But there was in Abraham's loins, right? So watch this church. Levi was in the loins of Abraham when he paid tithes. Who is Levi? Levi is Abraham's great grandson. Abraham begat, come with me, Isaac. Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Levi. You, you sound like you're not sure. Huh? That's a grandson. So long before, long before. Rebecca was born. She paid tithes in you. Long before your children are born, they're paying tithes in you. Hallelujah. Long before Adela was born, she paid tithes in me. <laughs> Father, help them to receive that today. Watch this church. That's how God sees it. We see a person, God sees generation. Mm. We see a person, God sees generation. When you bring your tithes, God sees your seeds and your seeds, seeds and your children, children. I'll bless you and bless your children and your children, children. <laughs> Giving tithes. Not the work of a man. It's not the law of the church. It's man's faithfulness. As they acknowledge the greatness of God. See, don't force nobody. You have to see it. Eyes to see. Ears to hear. Heart to understand. But watch this church. God sees, you know, we see occupation. We know God sees. He sees a career. Oh, we see a seed. God sees a harvest. You see a tree. God sees a forest. You see a healing. God sees a healthy family. Come on. You see a cross, but God sees the whole world saved. That's how God sees it. So the Bible says, by Paul's amazing revelation, he says, how could Levi priesthood be greater than Jesus Melchizedek's priesthood? When Levi actually was in Abraham paying tithes to Melchizedek. The Levi was in Abraham paying tithes to Melchizedek. In that way. Paul is demonstrating that the tithe is to proclaim how great Melchizedek is. When you give tithes, what you're proclaiming? How great, how great, how great he is. Not to make you rich, but it will make you wealthy. But do not look at your riches. Don't look at the riches that you will get, but look at the greatness of God. 
Church communion shows that his death, that he died. And he said, remember me. Tithing shows and demonstrates that he lives. It demonstrates his resurrection. He lives. Even though I am alive, he said, remember I died. The message this morning is this. Please have an understanding heart. Is to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to understand. These two important elements in the church is what is greatly misunderstood today. Communion and tithing. Communion is healthy if you receive it correctly. Tithing is wealthy if you do it correctly. Wisdom for life. Wisdom for health. Wisdom for wealth. God's way. Now, I am a witness that he died. He said, I am a witness that he died. Because I partake of what he's giving. See, I am a witness that he lives. Because I give my tithes to him. Give the Lord a hand. Father, I pray that we will have an understanding heart today, Lord. I pray for this church and the people to have an understanding heart. Eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to understand. Precious Lord, those of you taking communion, understand, we have seen when Jesus was rejected, his warning of blasphemy, his obligation to heal, his blessings for your understanding, his blessing when you receive what he's giving you, his body, his bread and wine, he's going to bless you with good health. Your understanding heart will cause you to see his greatness and worship him with your tights your receiving of communion demonstrates that he died your giving of tithes demonstrates that he lives every time you give tithes today you are protecting your children you are providing for your children when you pay tithes you're providing for your children those who are in your loins those who are growing up your are not working yet, you are paying tithes for them. God sees them in your loins. God sees you. God sees them through your giving. Hallelujah. Caleb is paying tithes because you are tithing to the Lord. Lift your hands to the Lord right now. Communion must not be taken lightly. Communion must be taken with an understanding that we are witnesses that He died and we are witnesses that he lives his death and his resurrection two, two things that are most misunderstood in the churches today neglected and abused for personal gain but God thank God today we will correct that thank God today it will be corrected in your heart, corrected in your mind, corrected in your spirit. You'll never take communion with a lack of understanding. And you'll never give tithes without understanding His greatness. From today, my prayer is that you will have a healthy life. Because you receive it, His bread and wine. You'll have a healthy life. There's healing in communion. There's health in communion. Because he said, by my stripes you are healed. He died to take away your sins. He died to heal your body. He died to cleanse you from all sickness and disease. All pain and hurt and sadness and sorrow. He will fill you with the joy of his presence. He will bless you, bless you, bless you. But God bless, there is no way. When God bless you, there is no room for cursing. No room for curses. Lift your hands to heaven. 
Lift your hands to heaven right now. Worship the Lord. Let's worship Him. Hallelujah. Let's worship Him. Lift your voices and worship Him. Worship. Thank God for understanding. Thank God for knowledge. Thank God for wisdom today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessings and glory. Glory to you. Let's worship Him. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit. wellness, King of Hell. He is with us. He is with you today. Receive it as He give your bread and wine today. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. He died to set you free he died to make you well he died he died so you can live father I pray for this church and those watching right now that your healing power and virtue will flow to every person who believe what they heard today with eyes to see and are now seeing what you have done because of your love and compassion for humanity. Of ears to hear and have heard your word it fell on good grounds today. That word that is sown in your heart, that word that gave clarity and understanding today. I pray that they'll receive the benefits of this bread and wine today. The purpose for which you died on the cross for we receive it as our inheritance and as we bring our tithes to you lord we acknowledge your greatness you are our melchizedek you live you live you live you died you live you rose again on high hallelujah you died you live you rose again on high Now touch your people, Lord. Bless this bread, bless this wine. As your people partake, I pray that healing will flow to their bodies. Healing to their physical body. Healing, Lord, to the soul, the emotional pain. Healing in your spirit. That they will be wholly sanctified unto you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands for a second. Be grateful. Be grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Precious Holy Spirit. Then sings my soul. My Savior God today. Lift your hands. Let's sing it. Go ahead, lift your hands, everyone. Jesus. Close your eyes and think about what he did on the cross. Think about how great he is right now. How great thou art. How great thou art. Jesus. Precious Lord.
come on, nobody looking along. Lift your hands and worship him. My soul cries out to you, Lord. How great thou art, precious Master. How great thou art, O oh Lord, my God. the stars see consider how great he is he's greater than your problems he's greater than your pain he's greater than your sickness he's greater than your disease lift your voice lift your hands everywhere sing how great thou art demonstrate that you are great Lord we thank you for this bread we thank you for this wine you died we remember you died for our sins and you live today you live to make intercession you are seated at the right hand you are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek you reign forever you live we declare your death and your resurrection and you soon return and your people bless we bless you Lord because we are blessed today we are blessed with health we are blessed with strength we are blessed with knowledge and wisdom and understanding we are blessed in our going out blessed in our coming in we thank you for healthy bodies healthy minds healthy families healthy children Lord we thank you for your blessings pressed down in our lives today we declare it that we are blessed bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me then sing my soul my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art Thou art. How great thou art! How great thou art! And the people said, "Amen." Hallelujah! We give you praise, Jesus. Touch your people. Heal every sick body. Touch every soul, touch every family, Lord. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. Touch every person watching right now, Lord. There will be a recommitment today. Reassurance, Lord. I pray, God, that you reaffirm the relationship today. Touch every person in a special way. 
Redeem every life from destruction. Crown them with loving kindness and tender mercies. And satisfy their mouth with good things. Thank you for healing their bodies and forgiving all their sins. We thank you for all your benefits today. We receive it now. In Jesus' name and faithfully, Lord, we receive this bread and this wine. We receive it wholeheartedly and we remember you in Jesus' name. And the people said, Amen. Give the Lord a hand of praise right now as we enter into this communion. I want you to come from the back, bring your tithes and your offering, give it to the Lord, and you come and take off the communion, go back to your seats and wait for instruction as we worship the Lord. Let's go ahead. Come from the back, please.
today. Bow in your presence. Bow your head in retrospection. Close your eyes and think. Think with your heart. Think with all your mind. All your mind. Set your affection on what he did. What he did 2,000 years ago. Set your affection. And remember him. Remember he brought this bread and wine to you this morning. He brought it here for you. Remember that. He's giving you. Receive it. Receive the benefits of it today. In remembrance of Him. In remembrance of Him. Take that bread in your right hand. Consider Him who endured the cross, despised the shame. Father, we hold this bread in our hands today and we acknowledge your greatness. We acknowledge the cross. We acknowledge the blood of the cross, the death of your son, our high priest, our Melchizedek. We thank you for sending him to demonstrate your love for us in that while we were yet sinners, oh Lord Jesus Christ died. Thank you, Father. By his stripes we are healed. I pray today that every single person taking this bread today, even those watching right now, as we eat of this bread, we are partaking of health, your healthy body. We are receiving our blessings of health today. Your way. Your way. For this bread is greater than doctors and medicines. This bread is greater than hospitals and hospital beds. This bread reminds me that by your stripes we were healed. And today we take our healing. We meditate on our healing. We receive it and we thank you for it. We believe it. We believe it. We believe it with all our heart. Full understanding today, which is our inheritance. Because on that same night in which you were betrayed, you took bread. You broke it and gave thanks and said to your disciples. And you define the you and the them. We are your children. We are your disciples. And you said to them, take, eat. This is my body, which was broken for you this we receive now and we eat all of it together in Jesus name shall we partake of it That same night you took the cup, take that cup in your right hand. And after you up, we said, This cup is a new testament in my blood. New testament in my blood, a better covenant. As often as you eat of this bread and drink of this cup, you show and declare my death till I come. Today, Lord, you said, Let the man examine himself, and so let him eat of this bread and drink of this cup. For he that doeth it unworth unworthily will bring curses rather than blessings. For this cause many sleep and many are sickly. But today we are doing it correctly. We are doing it with understanding. 
we doing what we believe and we are receiving this communion today knowing that all our sins are washed away once and for all we receive this and we say thank you for dying on the cross thank you for shedding your blood thank you father for sending your son thank you jesus for shedding your blood for my sins our sins we drink of it now in remembrance of you promise we'll never forget what you've done for us as you drink now drinking all of it together in jesus name receive it Lord by faith we receive it with thanksgiving I pronounce healing I pronounce deliverance I pronounce that disease be broken sickness be broken cancer be broken every pain gone bones be healed sinews be strengthened muscles be strengthened heart and arteries be healed lungs be healed brains be healed head be healed from the crown of the head to the soles of our feet we declare healing by your every stripes we are healed right now let it be healing in the body of Christ our children heal husbands heal wives heal parents children heal loved ones and families heal right now we declare it by faith our God is a healer our God is mighty our God is stronger our God is able. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for the benefits. Thank you for the blessings. Now you bless your people. Bless your people like you bless Abraham. Bless them, Lord. Bless them for their giving. Bless them for their tithing. Bless them for receiving the communion. Bless them for acknowledging your death and resurrection. Bless them for acknowledging the purpose of your body being broken. The purpose of your blood being shed. Thank you, Father. For redemption thank you for sanctification thank you for justification thank you for cleansing thank you for renewal refreshing and restoring thank you for your people Lord restore souls let your blessings flow let your blessings flow let there be miracles after miracles healing after healing deliverance after deliverance joy unspeakable and full of glory Fill every vacuum with your presence. Let your presence be heaven to us. In Jesus' name, I declare it. I declare the church be blessed right now. In Jesus' name. And the people said, Amen and Amen. Shout hallelujah, somebody. Turn to somebody and say, I am blessed with Father Abraham. Come on, say, I'm blessed. With Father Abraham, as God bless Abraham, you are blessed in Abraham. You are blessed in the loins of Abraham because we are adopted in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. With the same blessings of Abraham that's upon us and upon our children. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord some praise right now. Give the Lord some praise right now. Glory to God as they pick up the, the, the glasses. We just want to bless the Lord. Come on, somebody say, bless the Lord. Say, my God is greater. Say, my God is greater. My God is greater. Abraham, acknowledge the greatness of Melchizedek. Our God is greater. He is alive. He lives. He lives. He died. He rose again. He lives. No one like him. Come on, clap your hands and sing it.
turn your situation around. You can turn your situation around. Trust Him. Believe Him. Worship God because He's great. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. Sister Louisa can make some quick announcement. Praise the Lord. Pleasant good morning to all of you.